A new year brings a new way of business for Roger Vazirani, the owner of the Funky Buddha, Pigeon Forge's only late night drinking spot. It's down 70% and um, the three days we have to keep it shut and just open four days a week and even then it's horrible. Last month, the city began enforcing a law that would end alcohol sales at 1 a.m. For the past five years, the Funky Buddha has been open until 3. They gave us um, pretty much 10 days notice that we had to change that, and I had reservations. Pigeon Forge says because of their status as a premier resort city, they should have been closing the doors at 1 a.m. long before now. In fact, they say they should have been closing it since 2013, when liquor by the drink became legal. We started getting some questions from visitors and uh, different businesses and citizens alike. Uh, why are the rules different between Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge? And as we got to looking into the state law, we realized that we should be in order to st follow the state law, we need the time limit of 1 a.m. The same state law that puts Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge in a special bracket because of tourism calls for booze to stop flowing at 1 a.m qualifying uh, taxes that can be uh, generated in those certain types of towns and just certain rules that might be different from your average city because of the number of visitors that we do attract. Workers at the Funky Buddha are quitting because fewer hours mean they earn less tips. Vazirani says he can only stay open four days a week and says the decades old law should have been implemented decades ago before he went into business. Uh, why wasn't it implemented then? Why now? Is it my fault? that I put so much money in and now I'm trying to run a business and the city comes and changes the ordinance. Thousands of dollars a day he's lost each day he's open. In Pigeon Forge, Kyle Granger, WVLT News.